Local open source AI music generation has another great contender, this time called Ace Step. If you saw my video on Yeah a couple of months back, then you'll know of another way for unlimited AI music generation at home, though how does Ace Step hold up? Can you run it on your PC? And what can you do with it? Let's check out their nicely informative model card and find out. I do like it when people provide plenty of details. To start with, it comes with an Apache license and starting with freedom is a great start in my book. It's also really fast as in just a few seconds for minutes of music. Like you can see here, for 20 seconds of A100 power, you get a four minute AI audio output very fast. They don't mention VRAM on this page, so I'll say now that the Comfy UI version used just eight gig. However, their Gradio demo went up to more like 22 gig of VRAM in BF16 mode, which is their default. You can generate original music from text descriptions, remix and style transfer or edit song lyrics. They mention voice cloning next, but this isn't something you can do as yet. Largely related to their out of scope list, I believe, which you can also see there. Also bear in mind the limitations they have listed, such as the top 10 languages performing best. That's fine for me as I'm British, which is obviously the top language in the world. Even better than American, in my view. Anyway, some other limitations are that it is highly sensitive to both seed and song duration. Well, that is really very sensitive. Even changing it by 0.2 of a second, for example, can make noticeable changes with like one or two second changes making very large differences. Once you've used it a few times, you'll sort of get used to the relationship between the length of your lyrics and how long you need to make your song in order to make it sound good, which goes on to the next step. It can indeed be a bit gacha style at the moment, but when your re-rolls only take 20 seconds, that isn't too bad. Some styles don't work as well as others. The repainting and extend operations aren't perfect and the voice quality is still a little bit synthetic. I think it's great they list what you should expect out of the model. So don't think you'll be getting UDO quality music in 20 seconds on your own computer. However, with a bit of work on those re-rolls, yeah, I think you can get some fairly reasonable results. For Comfy UI, there are both native and custom nodes, though this particular pack doesn't yet work for me. Support in Comfy UI was only added recently, so do be sure to pull the very latest code. You should be able to see which version you have in Manager, and for me it's 0.3.32-3. You can grab the free example workflow from the pull request, which also has a link to the all-in-one checkpoint file you will need to download. It's only about seven gigs, so not too large at all. Open up the workflow in Comfy and you'll get something like this. In the checkpoint, select the ACE step checkpoint file you've just downloaded. And then next to that is where you enter both the tags and the lyrics. As for which tags it actually has, I've not seen a definitive list yet, but you can try with various instruments and musical styles. The lyrics and song length are super important as it can't just make something that doesn't have any timing or rhythm and magically make it sound amazing, as you'll hear in just a moment. So are you ready for how long this takes on a 3090? Here we go, then some real time song generation. Tra la 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 la, watching a bar go up very quickly. And yes, in about five seconds, it's done. So we can have a quick listen. Cute rodent girl, massive rodent ears. Paws with the fur, her long furry face. Ooh. Ooh, I love, I love, rodent girl. 
Not bad. The music seems okay though, the vocals are indeed a bit robotic. Still, for 5 seconds and 8.6 gig of VRAM, I'm very impressed. This is only one way to run it though, and this one doesn't have all the features. To run it as the developers intended, it's time to take a look at their Gradio interface instead. OK, so over on their GitHub web page, they give us all the instructions we need and also an interesting looking roadmap. Totally looking forward to that singing to accompaniment control net, for example. They have information on training in here too. But for this video, we'll just focus on the basics of getting what they already have up and running. First, of course, you'll want a Python virtual environment of some sort, and they give commands for either Anaconda or Python VNV. It's Anaconda prompt time for me, so crack that terminal open to paste their git clone command in. If you're somehow confused at this point, I can only assume it's because you didn't watch my Anaconda installation video, did you? Very naughty. Anyway, next you'll copy and paste the command to create a new environment. That's option A here using Conda. So you can click that to copy, feeling free to give it any name you like. There we go, we'll run that and it will create my new Conda environment. And once created, don't forget to run step two, activate your environment with whatever name you gave it. The final step is just to install the software with pip install minus e dot. There we go, we'll run that through. Now, don't forget if you're not using Linux, then follow whatever special instructions relate to the operating system you are using, such as Windows or Mac OS. You're now good to start the ACE STEP app with ACE STEP minus minus port 7865. Note also there are other command line options such as minus minus BF16 false if you're on MacOS to avoid errors. As you can see here, another option is to change the checkpoint path, though the default is to have the downloads done automatically. Opening the link it gives you in your favorite web browser, you'll find the Gradio interface has loads more options. The first one being this big orange sample button that will make an example song for you. It sets the duration, tags, lyrics, seed, all that other stuff. So all you need to do then is click generate and it will make an AI song for you. Let's have a quick listen to this. They flicker bright City hums in dead of night Rhythms pulse through concrete veins Lost in echoes of refrains Baseline grooving in my chest Heartbeats match the city zest Electric whispers fill the air Synthesize dreams everywhere. Mmm, generic AI lyrics, very soulful. Anyway, click on basic settings and that will expand and you'll see it's got inference steps and a guidance scale. There's another version of the guidance scale here. So if you use this, it won't use that other one. Personally, I think this one is much better as I haven't really had that much success even with their suggested settings there. On the number of inference steps, it does go all the way up to a thousand, but I would highly suggest not doing that as anything above around 150 and the song will actually come out a lot worse. Guidance scale is similar in that it can go all the way up to 200, but if you do that, it will sound bad. So probably around a maximum of 30-ish on that. Advanced settings has loads of advanced settings, surprisingly enough, too. And here, most of the defaults are generally OK. I have had some success with turning the granularity scale up a bit. If you reduce it, that definitely makes it sound trash. But you can go all the way up to 100 on that without making it sound too bad. 
The other CFG type, CFG and CFG star, well, they sound worse to me, so I will stick with their recommendation of APG. The scheduler type, once again, stick with their recommendations, it's faster. For the guidance interval, this is, I guess, almost sort of like a split sigma sampler. So it does half in one way and then half in another way. Generally speaking, 0.5 is okay. Uh, and if you put that all the way up to the maximum, it doesn't necessarily sound better. Um, I think between 0 0.6, 0 0.7 tends to be the best, at least in my test so far. Guidance interval decay, min guidance scale and OSS steps. Again, very advanced stuff. I tend to just leave that on the basics. If you want to copy and paste their numbers in for the OSS steps, then that's an option. But generally speaking, those defaults with perhaps a higher granularity scale are the best. When you generate a song, it is saved automatically and it also saves a little JSON file with this information here as well, the text to music parameters, so you can recreate your song. Unfortunately, I haven't found an easy way to actually load or drag in a JSON file, so not sure how you can do that other than manually setting everything you see in the text file. You can also retake, repaint, edit and extend. I've got a retake example here, as it's the most obvious, it's just a retake of the audio with variance limited by the value you set at the top. So if you can remember what this one sounds like, let's just have a listen to the introduction again. And then the version from Retake. As AI lyrics suck, instead I've written my own song here. So with custom lyrics, ones you've written yourself, let's see how that sounds. of constants changing a rodent will arise using AI to make songs you'll hear the rodent cries the song is of his people a very tiny size using AI to make songs you'll hear the rodent cries ooh yeah rodents so small and very furry All using AI To make song songs for their people people well i like it anyway but it does show an example of one of the styles it can produce this one is another ai generated sample example but it shows using a language other than english Did it make any sense? Were the words clear? I can't tell myself, but try in your language and find out what fun you can have. Sometimes your audio may come out a bit funny. I know it's super rare and just in case it ever happens, Repaint may be able to fix it. So, for example, pretend you've got a song like this one. Mm -hmm. 
Milk in motion Churn me up some time Twist your milky motion And make some cheese so fine Cheese is very tasty Oh, I'm not sure about that ch ch cheese is churn and make some cheese No, that doesn't match the lyrics No worries, because what you can do is click the repainting tab and then pick a start and an end time. It was around 25-ish seconds, so repainting between 19 and 30 gives a result like this one. Milk in motion Turn me up some time Twist your milky motion And make some cheese so fine Cheese is very tasty Cheese I Oh, that's much better. Repaint has fixed it. The edit tab can sometimes also work wonders, but do note you've only got two options, only lyrics or remix. In this case, I am editing the tags, so I'm going with the remix option. First up then, the original happy hardcore audio that sounds like this. And then the version with the edited tags. you go it seems to have changed it quite well i think now there is an option there as well you can see upload where you can upload your own audio now unfortunately that doesn't work quite as well as with the generations that it makes but give it a go and see what comes out the final option is extend i've not had much luck with this one myself but hey take a listen and decide the original here is 45 seconds long and i'm adding 19 seconds on to the end so if you listen around the 45 second mark you'll hear the bit that it's added <laughs> Give me cheese, give me cheese. What should you know? What should you know? Give me cheese, give me cheese. What should you know? What should you know? The dongsi. Give me cheese, give me more cheese. I guess it's close. I'm just not feeling it myself. Maybe we'll get some awesome updates soon as they do have lots of things on that roadmap. Plus, if you want to check out other open source options, then if you haven't seen it already, you can check out this next video. Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way.